Hail and well met, citizens of the internet. We're playing Super Mario 3D World on the oh, Wii U. Yeah. One of my favorite Mario games out of like 25 great Mario games. And we're playing 125 Nintendo games from Nintendo's 125 year history. And uh, this is uh, this is one that Brendan and I uh, go way back on, right? I noticed that you're, uh, you're Peach, Sam. Is that your favorite character to play as? I never play as Peach. Oh, really? Yeah, I like, I like her a little... Uh, uh, I'm just discovering now. I like her little cat uh, <laughs> hover. It's pretty great. Yeah, I also never play with the Wii remote. So oh, that must I, be I weird. Played, I played this game. I 100%ed it on uh, on the Wii U when it came out in 2013. We actually uh, tagged Team the Wiki, didn't There's we? A secret back here. Yeah, we did. Oh, that little propeller thing. Yeah, I love this guy. I knew somebody who, using Toad, managed to do this little like shuffle with that, and like on this ice, they would like get a running star and they would fly across the entire level. It's amazing. What'd you think of that uh, final final level playing as Toad or Mario in, uh, in this game? That made me want to tear my hair out in a good yep. way. It was crazy, huh? Yeah, I, I remember the first time I, I managed to but beat it. you did beat it with, with Peach. Yes. Uh, and I had to use the Tanuki suit, I think, the first time. But yeah. uh, I, I saw someone do it with nothing. No, no uh, mushrooms, no nothing. And that is quite an accomplishment if you get to be yeah. one of those people. So it's a really cool thing that Nintendo always has that one last difficult level that really tests everything that you've come to learn. Yeah, I always remember my difficult one that I played was in Mario Galaxy 2. It was just so difficult. Oh, yeah. I like that. Um, so this game was actually made by the Super Mario Galaxy team. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like Super Mario Galaxy 3, but it's not a Super Mario Galaxy game. And I think we were all a little bit uh, worried about this game before it came out. Yeah. Because I remember it's not a Galaxy game. I remember playing it at the first uh, E3 it was at, and I was like worried because I'm like the fixed camera. It's yeah. not fixed, but it follows you in a very locked pattern. I was just like, is this gonna be like New Super Mario Brothers, but just 3D? But it turned out to be much more than that. I think. Yeah, and and I think we, I really liked 3D Land on mm -hmm. the 3DS, and of course this is more of a sequel direct to that, right? Yes, but that's true. It really focuses on multiplayer, and uh, you can play as four players. And the Mario 2 style of selection, Toad, Luigi, Princess, and Mario, which I love. I, I love those really little uh, the portraits. They're very cool and stylized. Yep. And, of course, you can unlock Rosalina. She's now, like, the the, the series favorite. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. And she's great in this nowhere. game, too. She has a spin that kind of lets her jump a little bit further. And every character has a unique ability, just like Super Mario Bros. 2. Out of all the games you would, you know, never expect Nintendo to return to, uh, we got to get that rabbit. I'm get him. I'm going to get him. Can I get him? Oh, jeez. Is it's Mario 2 because Mario 2, of course, is Where'd he go? infamously not down here, man. You gotta come down here. Get it. Uh, Mario 2 is is infamously a, not a originally a Super Mario Brothers game, so it's kind of cool that got him. Get this. You nailed him. Oh, we already, oh, got, we already got that star. Oh well. But yeah, I think every addition that they made in this game, whether it be the the return of the Tanukis, the cat suits that let you climb on walls, yeah, they all felt like, where have you been all my life? Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, you know, a cynical person would say it's very fan servicey, but I just think it's wonderful. Oh, oh you almost got it, man. Can you get there? Oh, wait, I have the. You know what you need is the uh, is the little helicopter I lost early on in the level. We did it. Yeah. Teamwork. That's what's really cool, right? Is that there's mm -hmm. uh, teamwork to be had in this game. I think of all the it multiplayer. Makes it much easier. Some of the later levels. Oh yeah, of all the multiplayer iterations of Mario. I think this one was the easiest for people to get down and play together. The 2D ones were kind of a crazy fest people dying. Mm -hmm. I found a little bit less with this one. Still that element of chaos, but... Hey, you don't get in each other's ways as much. Yeah. It's a little chaotic compared... You know, the 2D ones are really chaotic, but mm -hmm. I think having another person on screen this really helps some of the hard levels. Now, what's interesting about this game is that it stops at World 6 or so. And then there's much more. Yeah, there's I was amazed. I was like, Bowser by the way, there's a mushroom world. By the way, there's a fire world. By yeah. the way, there's a star road. And yeah. I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, and so when you keep going and going, you find these worlds that are actually really meant for, for people that... Uh, let's get that star. Where do you think it is? Which one? No, no, let's not go to that level. You know, there's also... Fall one up there? What's that? Up top, there's that fall level. Well, there's also one thing I wanted to uh, point out, and that's that... world. Were we on World 3? Mm-hmm. This one. That this was the the introduction of what would become Captain Toad's treasure tracker. Oh yeah. And it was a very different take. In oh, there he is. Let's, let's let's go play that really quickly. Okay. Um, it was a very different take. You were used to do all this platforming craziness, and all of a sudden you have Captain Toad here, who would make you play on the gamepad, can't opt out of it, in a single player only mode. That was you couldn't jump. Yeah. And you had to. And Toad slowly just moves automatically, right? 
No, you had to move oh, him, but move. Okay. Uh, you were very slow, couldn't jump, and had to navigate these like really weird mazes. And it was a very interesting take, and like, I like, some people didn't like it, you know, that's fine. But I actually liked it. I thought it was a very unique take, and now we're getting his own game. Mm -hmm. I think that's so awesome, and it took this long for Toad to get his own game. You know, and also, the, another thing that I just will always remember about this game is those clear warp pipes. I think they're so cool. Oh, yeah. That and um, Bowser, in the, in the end, uh, spoilers, ends up using a, a double cherry and the cat suit. Yeah. Excuse yeah, the double cherry is a new object in this game that allows you to uh, become multiples, and you can get like I think up to sixteen multiples mm -hmm. of yourself, and you control them all at once. It's so it's so crazy. It's such a creative, wonderful Nintendo game, and definitely one of our favorite 125 Nintendo games oh, yeah. ever since their inception so long ago in the 1800s. They only started making games we understand from uh, about the mid 70s onwards with the Color Game Six, but. This is one of our favorites and one of the most Oof. recent games, and uh, we hope to be playing a lot more Nintendo's of Nintendo's great games in the weeks to come. But uh, thanks for thanks for playing, Brendan. Of course.